hot dogs or sausages. It's been said that the two things that you never want to see made are the law and sausages. Well, let's talk about this. Spelling bees, fun and educational, right? Except when they're hijacked to promote a product. And that is just what Maple Leaf has done. You've probably seen the commercial where a little girl is asked to spell sodium diacetate and she struggles with it. I don't know why, it doesn't seem to be so hard to spell. She can't spell it, which suggests that therefore we should not be eating it. If you can't spell it, if you can't pronounce it, you should not be eating it. So Maple Leaf sells hot dogs with simple ingredients that you can pronounce, the message being that therefore this is better, it is safer. What is sodium diacetate? It's a version of vinegar. Our conventional hot dog uh, will say sodium diacetate. This will say vinegar. It's the same thing. It just adds a little bit of flavor. And there's more. Here we have cultured celery extract. It doesn't mean that the celery juice has been exposed to classical music or famous world literature. It has been exposed to a bacterial strain that converts the naturally occurring nitrate to nitrite. Why do we want to do that? Because nitrite is a great preservative. It prevents the formation of botulin, which is the most toxic substance known to mankind. Well, this will say cultured celery extract, but all it is is nitrite. This will say sodium nitrite, but that sounds more ominous. Going on, this has cherry powder. Well, cherry powder contains a bit of ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. That prevents the formation of nitrosamines in the body. Nitrosamines form when natural occurring compounds called amines react with nitrite. And there's worry that those are carcinogenic. So here you have the cherry powder that prevents that from happening. Here we have sodium erythorbate, which is almost the same thing. It's a close chemical cousin of vitamin C, but it works even better than vitamin C in preventing nitrosamine formation. I know there's a myth out there that it's made from earthworms because the name kind of sounds like worm. That's total nonsense. It's a perfectly safe material. Uh, this one has smoke flavoring. This one says smoke. Well, smoke is smoke. It isn't particularly a healthy thing. So just because you can pronounce the ingredient doesn't make one product better than the other. There's another problem here, and that is the price. This one, 10 hot dogs, $4.99. This one, 12 hot dogs, $1.99. What's the difference? Nutritionally, nothing. It has the same cholesterol content, the same fat content, the same carbohydrate content. There is absolutely no difference nutritionally between these two. So why am I telling you this? To get across the message that just because a term sounds complex, it sounds like a chemical, doesn't mean that it is dangerous. You cannot judge the safety of a product by the ability of an elementary school student to spell it. So which one of these am I going to eat? Well, right now, neither. You know, I've already had my hot dog for this month. Uh, I'm going to get my nutrients today. Uh, I'll get my protein from cottage cheese, and uh, I'll get my polyphenols and my vitamin C from the apple. But uh, I'm not adverse to having another hot dog next month.